Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, we'll start working on a leveling system for our Discord bot. So previously we connected our Node.js application to our MongoDB database. Now we're going to be using that database to store levels and XP for our users. Now, before I start in the previous video, I forgot to mention you're actually meant to put your client.login function inside your tribe block after the event handler. So make sure to do that first. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is create a file for a function inside the utils folder. Let's call it calculate level xp.js. And basically what this will do is it will return the amount of xp required for a specific level. So I'm going to export a function. This function will have the parameter called level. And this is basically the level that the user wants to get the amount of xp on. I'm going to just say 100 times level, or if level is a faulty value or it does not exist at all, then we can just say one. Now this is it for the function to be honest. And the reason why I have a whole file for it is because I know some people would probably want a different level XP system. So this file is here to avoid repetition in case your XP system is more complicated. So I'm gonna save this file and now let's move on to our schema. Inside the source folder, I'm going to create a new folder called models, or you can even call this schemas. I'm just going to call it models. And inside this folder, I'm going to create a file called level.js. And from here, I'm going to start by importing schema and model, which is going to be imported from mongoose. And then we'll create our level schema. So let's say const level schema equals new schema. And this is going to have an object inside. And our level schema is first of all going to have the user ID. This user ID is going to have a type of string and required of true. Now we're going to do the same thing for guild ID, which is type string and required true. We also need XP, which is a type of number. And instead of setting the required property this time, we can just set a default property, which is going to be zero. I'm also going to have a level property for the schema which is going to be type number again, and the default is going to be zero as well. Now to use this in the rest of our project, we have to export it. So let's say module.export, and we're gonna say model. And in here, we're gonna pass in the name of the schema, which I'm just gonna say level, and I'm gonna pass in the level schema variable, and then you can just save your file. Anyway, we can now close out of this file, now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to listen for messages. So go inside your events folder and create a new folder called message create. Inside this folder, I'm going to create a file called give user xp.js. This file will be dealing with the messages that we receive and we will be giving xp based on that. So let's export a function. So I'm going to say module.export and this function is going to have access to the client and the message. Now, in order to have IntelliSense inside VS Code, since I'm not using TypeScript, what I can do is I can import client and message from Discord.js. So I'll just say const require Discord.js. And from Discord.js, I'm going to import client and message. And in order for client and message to have IntelliSense, I can say forward slash double asterisk and press enter or tab. And for client, I'm going to set it to the client that we imported from Discord.js. And for message, I'm going to set it to the message that we imported from Discord.js as well. Now, before we write anything inside of this function, let's first create a new function at the complete top. And I'm going to call this get random XP. And in here, we can set a minimum amount and a maximum amount. Now, I'm going to paste this code right here, which I will have in the description, or you guys can just write it down. It's not really a lot of code. And basically what this function does is you give it a minimum amount of XP that you want to generate and a maximum amount of XP that you want to generate, and it will give you a random number between this range. In our case, we're only going to be using 5 and 15, but in your case, you might want it lower or higher. That's totally up to you. Now inside our main function, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to check if the message is actually from within a server. So let's say if not message in guild, which is a method, then we can return. We don't want to do anything else. We also want to check if the message author is a bot. So let's say or message author dot bot, and this will also return. Later on, we'll add our cooldown functionality inside of this as well. 
which will basically check if a user has any cooldown. If they do, then we're going to return, of course. Now, at the top of this function, we are going to define the XP to give. And this is the XP that we're going to give the user from this message that they sent. So I'm going to say get random XP and I'm going to give a range of 5 and 15. Now here we're going to start dealing with our database. So let's import our level schema. So let's say const level and require, go to your models folder and require your level schema. Now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to define a query which will search our database for a specific field type. So I'm going to say user ID and the user ID is going to be message.author.id and we also need a guild ID which is going to be message.guild.id. So let's say try catch and in case there is any error, I'm going to say error giving XP and then I'm going to pass in the error. Now inside the try block, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to check the database with this query to see if the user ID and guild ID exists. So let's say const level equals await level.find1 and we're going to find one using this query right here. And because we're using await, we're going to have to put async up in our function. Now, if this data does exist in the database, we can deal with that. So let's say if level. Now, what we can do here is we can edit that existing entry. So let's say level.xp and we're going to add so plus equal with the xp to give, which is the randomly generated xp. Now at the top of our file, we also want to import this function right here, which calculates for the XP for every level. So let's do that. I'm going to say const calculate level XP and we're going to say require go up two levels and inside our utils folder, we can import calculate level XP.js. Now back in our try block, what we're going to do is we're going to check if the XP is more than this calculated XP. So let's say if level.xp is more than, and then we're going to calculate the XP required for the current level that the user is in. So we can say level.level. .level, and if that's the case, we're going to first reset the XP of the user. So let's say level.xp, and we're going to set it to zero. And then we're going to set the level in the database. So level.level .level plus equals one. And then we can send a message to the channel telling the user that they have leveled up. So let's say message.channel.send and we're going to say message.member you have leveled up to level and then we can pass in the level from the database. Now make sure you don't return after this because we actually want to update our database. All we're doing here is we're just changing the data in our memory. So let's go ahead and change it inside the database. So outside of this if statement, we can say await level dot save and then we're going to catch any error. So let's say dot catch and in case there is any error, we can console log and we'll say error saving updated level. And after this, I'm going to return. Now, this is all the logic if the level exists in the database. However, at first, the level is not going to exist. So let's add an else statement. I'm going to put a comment here saying if not level just so I exactly know what this else statement is about. And then I can put an else statement here. And I'm also going to put a comment over here saying create new level. So I'm going to say const new level and we're going to say new level. And this level is the schema that we imported from our models folder. Now our new level is going to have a few properties. If we check our schema, you'll see we have user ID, guild ID, XP and level. We're not going to add a level because we're creating a new entry into our database, which by default is going to be set to zero. XP on the other hand, we're going to add the randomly generated XP. So let's do that. Our user ID is going to be the message author ID. Our guild ID is going to be message.guild.id. The XP is going to be the XP to give. Now with all that set, we can save our user. So let's say await new level dot save and let's save this file. Now we can run our bot. So let's say nodemon. Now with our bot online, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to MongoDB Atlas. So I'm going to say cloud.mongodb.com and inside our clusters, click on browse collections. And over here, you'll see I have no data available. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to go over to discord. In Discord, I'm going to first send a few messages. So I'm going to say A. Now this message has created our profile. So I can bring back my database and click on refresh. 
Now you'll see that levels was added and you'll see the user ID was stored, guild ID was stored, and I was given five XP. Of course, level is also set to zero despite us not telling it because we set a default property. Now, what will happen if we keep spamming some messages? So I'm gonna keep spamming some messages and as you can see, it's gonna say you have leveled up to level one. If I go back and I refresh, you'll see I'm in level one and I have 57 XP. Let's keep spamming some more. You'll now see that it says I have leveled up to level two. If I refresh, indeed it has saved level two and XP of 54. However, this is not ideal because we wanna add some cooldown. So let's deal with that now. Back in our code, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new set. So let's say const cooldowns and we're gonna say new set. And a set is basically a container of unique IDs. And what we're going to store in this cooldown set is author IDs. And after every 60 seconds, we're going to remove it because 60 seconds is the cooldown that I've chosen. Of course, you can choose whatever cooldown duration that you want. Now, when do we want to add this cooldown? Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to check if the cooldown exists. So after this, I'm going to say or cooldowns dot has and we're going to check if it has the message author ID. If it does have that, then of course we're going to return because the user is on cooldown. So we're now going to add their cooldown logic after we've saved their new data to the database. So in the first case, if level already exists in the database, we're saving the data over here. So after this, I'm gonna say cooldowns.add and then I'm gonna add message author ID. After this, I'm gonna add a timeout. So I'm gonna say set timeout I'm going to put a 60,000 millisecond timeout, which is 60 seconds. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say cooldowns dot delete. And then I'm going to delete using the message author ID. I can copy this and add it inside the else statement as well. So after you save your new level, paste your cooldown logic down here as well. Now, before heading to discord, let's check what our current XP is. It's currently 54. So let's go to Discord and try sending a new message. If I come back and refresh, it is now 69. Nice. However, you'll notice if I try to send another message, it will not actually add into my XP. That is because the cooldown is still not expired. After 60 seconds, if I send another message, it will add to my XP. In the next video, we'll be covering how to create a rank card that looks something like this. Now, if you guys are having any problems, be sure to join my Discord server. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you guys are enjoying my content, make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.